Hey everybody, it is June 7th, 2009. I am Sonic Sons, and I'm here to talk to you about another word I invented, jupla. Or jupla. Or jupla. It actually uh, derives from the words just play. And it's something I want to use uh, generally in the context of video games. This derived uh, from when I was playing a game on the Nintendo DS uh, called New Super Mario Brothers. And uh, I eventually got through the whole dang thing and just got to the point of replaying uh, various levels. Uh, sort of just as, as, as a way of, I don't know, um, like an idle activity almost. You know, when you want to like, like drum your fingers. Sometimes I do that with, with games. I just want to just play the thing and just, you know, um, go run along with it. Sometimes it's very useful for, uh, for instance, getting rid of stress, to have just something for your brain to do, etc., etc. There's one thing that really annoyed me, though, about the game. It's not something particularly unique for New Super Mario Brothers. Uh, it was all the frictional elements that are thrown in. All the little times where you have to you have to stop. You have to wait for something. You have to not play for even just a half of a second, or sometimes longer than that. You uh, you know have this this game here, and you boot it up, and then you know naturally it takes a certain amount of time to boot. I can understand their technical limitations on this. And a couple other things, um, but then when I get in and it, uh, I, I log into my you know save file or whatever, uh, it puts me on a world map, and then to select, you know, uh, a random stage, I have to walk there. And when I walk to some place, Mario has to d d d d d move there, and then he has to pause when he gets to a stage, and then I hit the hit the button, d d d pause, d d d pause, d d d pause, d d d pause, until I finally get around to you know whichever place I felt like playing today. Um, and this is something, again, that I, I particularly noticed these things when I started getting to the point of replaying levels. Um, because when you're first time through, you know, maybe it's a little interesting to watch these random bits of things. Um, and they sort of lose interest with these as time goes on. Uh, but even in the beginning, though, I remember launching the thing and being, okay, I want to go, like, two levels over here, you know, to this other one and see if I can yada yada. And I was like, why don't we just, you know, click, click. I'll just, like, rapid tap the, the left on the D-pad or something. Oh, there we go. There, I select the thing, and I go there. That'd be nice. You can't do that. Um, then when you, you enter the level, you know, and then there's a little thing. Okay, here's so a level. And then you get to play. Uh, that's cool. Uh, when you get to the end of the level, you have to jump. If, if you know Mario at all, you get to the end, and there's, like, a flag. And you jump at it, and then you slide down the flagpole. Um, and some things calculate your score and some such. It got to the point where I would play levels, I'd be running through and doing random, random, random stuff, get to the end, jump at the flagpole, hit start, hit, like, the, I think, up or something, whatever, that would wrap around the proper position on the menu. I forget exactly which one it was. Uh, but you hit whatever thing, hit the button to quit, and then quit out, because it was faster to quit out of the level than to watch the little animation at the end where they calculate my score. Like, I don't care about my score right now. I don't think I particularly ever cared about it. Particularly when I'm replaying levels. Um, but even in the beginning, it'd be nice to have better ability to, to skip past that stuff. Speaking of skipping things, this all connects pretty well to um, unskippable cutscenes. You know, there, there's a big frictional element. There's a big block in any, in any given game. There's not a lot of cutscenes in New Super Mario. Um, but you know, you're playing a game and then, oh wait, you have to pause. And maybe they've got a good cutscene. Maybe there's a good story. Maybe there's a... Uh, maybe, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe A, it's a bad story, and or B, I just don't care right now. And I'd like to get past that. The whole point of a game is to be doing stuff. Uh, someone wants to define gameplay as a series of interesting choices. Now, that, that's a pretty good definition. Right. I, I'd like to be doing the interesting choices. Um, you know, and, and skip past... Every little thing, even, even 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 tiny things like I'm playing the level and I, I send Mario into a warp pipe, and then there's this pause of like a second or so, like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and then he like comes out the other side of the warp pipe. I'm like, can we skip past that? Because during that one second, I don't have anything to do. I want to do stuff, and it's not that I want to be forced into doing stuff. I don't want like this crazy Twitch thing where each and every instant you have to do something. You have to like hit the right button, otherwise you die. <laughs> But I do want a thing where, at any given instant, if I feel like doing something, then there's something to do. At any given moment, there should be no pause. There should never be powerless. There's a phrase for you. Never powerless. Um, because you know, on the theme of Mario games, 
uh, when you play Super Mario Galaxy. Great game. Awesome game. It happens to have one skippable cutscene near the end, which is, I was like, what? Not that it mattered for me in that case, because I beat the boss on the first try, but if you play it a couple of times, or, um, uh, uh, 